Hey, what's up everyone? This is Apple Vibes back with another video. In this video, we are going to talk about shortcuts and uh, this app is a very underrated app. You won't find much info about this app, but uh, yeah, if you if you are interested in the app, you can search it on Google and uh, on YouTube as well. But trust me, if you start using this app, you will be able to do almost anything and I mean it literally you can do anything on your iPhone that you desire the app should be installed by default in your iPhone but if it's not installed if it's not installed by default on your iPhone don't worry you can still download it and this is how you do it uh, you have to go to the app store after going to the app store search for shortcuts after searching for shortcuts you can see the app here it's showing open in my iPhone because I already have it installed but if you don't have install it installed on your iPhone it will show as get so you have to press that get and then you have to install it on your iPhone so after you install it on your iPhone you have to go to the spotlight or the best thing you can go to the app library directly search for shortcuts and then you have to open the app so when you open the app it will show something like this all shortcuts and the starter shortcuts these are the folders i've made actually home screen home screen 2 home screen 3 now for now we'll choose all shortcuts these are the shortcuts that i have installed from a very very long time i've been installing this shortcuts from a very long time and i've been finding this from various different sites and different places so we'll talk, we'll be talking about all these shortcuts in videos coming next after this videos so if you are interested in this video please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified about the videos which will be coming soon okay so you can see three options at the bottom of the screen right here are the three options you can see my shortcuts automation and gallery we are currently on my shortcuts and you can see the shortcuts i have uh, automation we won't be covering in this video because it will take a whole new video so stay tuned if you are interested in automations but i'll show you some quick peek in my automations I have in my iPhone those are uh, some of them the cool ones are uh, it sets an alarm automatically 30 minutes after sunrise uh, I sleep after uh, namaz in the morning and I need to get up by 10 or 9 30 so if I forget to set an alarm this is a very cool feature because it sets the alarm automatically so I don't need to worry about the alarm and uh, I use my phone on low power mode because I need a lot of battery uh, in the day so what i do is if i forget to set it on low power mode best thing i do is when my phone is disconnected you can see the last one right my, when my phone is disconnected from the charger directly it sets my phone to low power mode so i don't have to check again and again if my phone is on low power mode or not the third one we have is gallery so this one we'll be covering in this video and this is important for you uh, here you can find inbuilt shortcuts and automations provided by Apple. There are infinite options to choose from in order to make a perfect shortcut. But uh, the inbuilt shortcuts they provide are starter shortcuts, shortcuts for accessibility, great the shortcuts which work great with Siri, the shortcuts which are wonderful with uh, widgets, the shortcuts you can use from the share se sheets, and uh, many more shortcuts like that. But uh, let's start with the starter shortcuts shall we okay so th these are the very basic shortcuts apple provides and uh, i'll show you some of them how to use them and then we'll move on the next menu even these shortcuts which are very basic can also be very useful in your life i'll be showing you uh, i'll be setting one shortcut from all of these and showing you how to set a shortcut so let us choose one all of them seem very important i'll be taking airdrop photos the third one okay so just select that after selling selecting the shortcut you have an option at the bottom add shortcut just click on that and it will add the shortcut to my shortcuts the first option at the bottom of the screen so choose that option and uh, go to all short shortcuts after going there you have the first the shortcut you just added is been added on the top that is airdrop photos so in order to run the shortcut all you have to do is press on that shortcut airdrop photos i'm pressing on the shortcut 
and then it will ask you for the access to your photos airdrop photos would like to access your photos just press ok after doing that it will run the shortcut and choose any image you want to share via airdrop i'll choose this image and this image and then i'll choose add so after adding that it will give you all the options i'll choose for first option i'll i'll share it to my macbook and uh, after pressing that you'll get a prompt on your macbook or any other device you want to share just uh, uh, click accept on that device and voila it has so guys this is how you use shortcuts and this is how you run shortcuts and this is how you set a shortcut but every time you want to run a shortcut you'll have to come to the app See, uh, whether you want to run airdrop photos or uh, uh, so many uh, shortcuts I have right now Bluetooth mode or Namaz Alam or check out Twitter Explore any one of them I want to run a shortcut I have to come to the shortcuts app and then run the shortcut but if I have to do that every time how does that make my life convenient how does it make uh, my work faster well it changes completely with iOS 14 because now you can set these shortcuts on directly on your home screen via widgets or also you can use them via double tapping or triple tapping on your iPhone. So I'll be showing you next how to do that, how to set your shortcut, your favorite shortcuts on the home screen and also on double tap and triple tap. So, okay, so let's check how to set the shortcuts directly on the home screen and uh, also via double tapping and triple tapping. So the first four shortcuts on your shortcuts app here I have airdrop photos, Bluetooth mode, encode to base 64 and namaz alam. You can set any four you want, just click on any of the shortcut, drag 3D touch on that, like that is long click, 3D touch on that and drag and drop to the first four widgets, four, first four shortcuts you want to be seen on the home screen. So after doing that we have now the four I have are the four I need on the home screen. So after setting that we'll go to the home screen. And like we did in the other video while setting widgets, we'll just 3D touch on the screen. So now I'm 3D touching on the screen and uh, we'll click the plus icon on the top. After clicking that icon, we'll choose shortcuts at the bottom. So here are shortcuts and uh, I'll suggest you choose this op option because this is very large on the home screen. It won't look good and this is very small. So I suggest you take this one and we'll 3D touch on this and directly drag and drop on the widgets we have already. So it won't mess with our home screen and done so i had i already had some widgets on the home screen and i have added more widgets on the home screen if you want to know how to do this how to stack widgets on each other i have a video on uh, linked on the card above so please check that video if you want to know how to stack widgets on each other and voila it's done so now all the four widgets we wanted airdrop photos make qr code install ultimate and bluetooth mode the first four we had now we have it on the home screen directly so from the home screen directly I can click on airdrop photos it will run the shortcut from here and it will give me a prompt to choose a photo I can choose a photo from here directly uh, shortcuts to double tap and triple tap so in order to do that let's uh, go to settings after going to settings you have to go to accessibility after going to that you have to go to touch and after going to touch at the bottom of the screen you have to choose back tab if it's off choose on after going to back tab choose double tap or triple tap now I'll be choosing double tap and you have some basic options like a lock screen or mute or notification center over here you can choose whatever you want but in this video we'll be setting up a shortcut so scroll down and here you can see shortcuts and uh, the, the, the one we have set right now we'll choose that and that is airdrop photos so I'm going to choose airdrop photos here and uh, airdrop photos has been set to double tap again I can go to triple tap and uh, at the bottom in shortcuts I can choose whatever I want I'll choose Bluetooth mode here and uh, then I'll go to the home screen I'm, I'm showing you I'm, I'm double tapping on my screen and it is going to run airdrop photos see it is showing that the airdrop photos are running and here it will give the prompt of choosing a photo and then I can share directly from here so this is all for this video guys if you have learned something new something valuable or something good Please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet and also hit the notification button because I am going to be coming with cool shortcuts that I am using right now those that are best shortcuts and probably you have not heard of the shortcuts and are not using so hit the notification button to get notified when I put those uh, put that video 
Thank you for watching this video. Take care and I'll be seeing you in the next video.